I've put all the coils on the stator and now I need to make it more stable because when the windmill is uh, spinning fast there will be a lot of vibrations into it and I don't want it to fall apart therefore I want to give it a bath in a polyester resin um, I've made such a basin out of uh, uh, two juice tetra packs which I have cut and put together now I can fill it with uh, polyester resin and uh, I don't know how fast it will harden after I have put the hardener into it so I um, explain now because later I will not have any time I will be in a hurry to to do this so when I've put the hardener into the polyester resin I will put all it into here and then I will place that here like this then I can use the car lifter here to lift that thing up and up and up and up so by now the starter will be bathing into the polyester resin and then I just have to turn that like this so that all the coils will get their bath into the polyester resin one time around and then I will need to let it dry that's the plan polyester resin and the hardener are not very healthy stuff therefore always remember to wear gloves that uh, are uh, chemical proof and goggles for your protection
So that's what the data looks like now. Looks more stable than before. It's still hardening. And look at this, that's the rest. And this thing is hot because when it hardens, it becomes hot. And I've even heard that it can ignite from itself when it's not cooled down. So I let it um, here in the air to cool down. It's already cooling down, but it's still, still warm. Ooh, even, oh, even hot. I will leave it here for a while. I have cut a hole into the stator and sealed the edges with paint. Then I drilled holes into it for the screws here. One, two, three and four and two holes for the cables, which come from the coils. The cable go from here into there, so I can attach something, an electrical um, tool or machine or whatever, light maybe. I measured the resistance from all the coils to 2.6 ohms and um, that's a good value if you um, think that there are 45 coils so 2.6 ohms is actually quite a good value I believe and the screws are here and the good thing is I can adjust how far the stator is is from from the steel here so that I can really adjust um, where the coils will be because they need to be floating exactly over the magnets that's what the crews are screws are here for yes and that's what I'm doing now I will now attach it to the wind turbine 